Hello everyone. You are once more welcome to this channel. In today's lesson, we are given that 2 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 3 raised to the power x minus y, which is equal to 36. And we need to find the value of 2x divided by x squared minus y squared. And to answer this question, we are going to use two methods. Here, we're going to transform these two equations to logarithmic equations. Recall that if a raised to the power x is equal to b, then x is equal to the log of b to the base a. So in this question, we are given that 2 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 36. And the 3 raised to the power x minus y is also equal to 36. And this implies that x plus y is equal to log 36 to the base 2 and the x minus y is equal to the log of 36 to the base 3. And if you add these two equations, we are going to obtain 2x to be equal to the log of 36 to the base 2 plus the log of 36 to the base 3. Since y plus negative y is 0, let's call this equation 1. And if we multiply the two equations, we are going to have x plus y multiplied by x minus y. And this is equal to the log of 36 to the base 2 multiplied by the log of 36 to the base 3. Let's call this equation 2. And if we divide equation 1 by equation 2, we are going to obtain 2x divided by x plus y multiplied by x minus y. And this is equal to the log of 36 to the base 2 plus the log of 36 to the base 3 divided by the log of 36 to the base 2 times the log of 36 to the base 3. And this is equal to the log of 36 to the base 2 plus the log of 36 to the base 2 times the log of 2 to the base 3 divided by the log of 36 to the base 2 times the log of 36 to the base 3. This is because the log of A to the base B can be written in the form the log of A to the base C times the log of C to the base B. And if you factor out the log of 36 to the base 2 in the numerator, we are going to obtain the log of 36 to the base 2 multiplied by 1 plus the log of 2 to the base 3 divided by the log of 36 to the base 2 times the log of 36 to the base 3. From here, we can cancel out the log of 36 to the base 2. And this is equal to 1 plus the log of 2 to the base 3 divided by the log of 36 to the base 3. The numerator can also be expressed in the form log 3 to the base 3 plus log 2 to the base 3. Since log 3 base 3 is also equal to 1. And this is the same as the log of 6 to the base 3. And so this is equal to the log of 6 to the base 3 divided by the log of 36 to the base 3 which is also equal to the log of 6 to the base 3 divided by the log of 6 raised to the power 2 to the base 3, which is equal to the log of 6 to the base 3 divided by 2 times the log of 6 to the base 3. And from here, we can cancel out the log of 6 to the base 3, which gives us a half. Therefore, we are saying that 2x divided by x plus y multiplied by x minus y 
is equal to a half. But we know x plus y multiplied by x minus y is just a difference of two squares. And so we can write this as 2x divided by x squared minus y squared is equal to a half. Now let's go back to the equation. We were asked to find the value of 2x divided by x squared minus y squared, given that 2 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 3 raised to the power x minus y, which is equal to 36. And we have seen that this value is just equal to a half. That is just method 1. Now let's move to method 2. Again, we are given that 2 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 36. And the 3 raised to the power x minus y is also equal to 36. If we raise both sides of this first equation to the power x minus y, we are going to obtain 2 raised to the power x plus y, all this raised to the power x minus y, which is equal to 36 raised to the power x minus y. And if you raise both sides of the second equation to the power x plus y, we are going to have 3 raised to the power x minus y, all this raised to the power x plus y, and this is equal to 36 raised to the power x plus y. But recall that a raised to the power m, all this raised to the power n, is equal to a raised to the power m times n. And so this implies that 2 raised to the power x plus y multiplied by x minus y is equal to 36 raised to the power x minus y. And 3 raised to the power x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 36 raised to the power x plus y. Again, recall that x plus y multiplied by x minus y is equal to x minus y multiplied by x plus y. And this is equal to x squared minus y squared. And so this implies that 2 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 36 raised to the power x minus y and 3 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 36 raised to the power x plus y. And if we multiply these two equations together, we are going to obtain 2 raised to the power x squared minus y squared times 3 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 36 raised to the power x minus y multiplied by 36 raised to the power x plus y. Recall that a raised to the power m times b raised to the power m is the same as ab, all this raised to the power m. And that a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n is the same as a raised to the power m plus n. And so this implies that 2 times 3, all this raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 36 raised to the power x minus y plus x plus y. And this implies that 6 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 36 raised to the power 2x. And again, 36 is equal to 6 raised to the power 2. And so this implies that 6 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is the same as 6 raised to the power 2, all this raised to the power 2x, which again implies that 6 raised to the power x squared minus y squared is equal to 6 raised to the power 4x. And since these bases are the same, we have x squared minus y squared, which is equal to 4x. And dividing both sides by x squared minus y squared, we have x squared minus y squared divided by x squared minus y squared, which is equal to 4x divided by x squared minus y squared. 
and this implies that 4x divided by x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. And if you divide both sides by 2, we are going to have 2x divided by x squared minus y squared, which is equal to a half. So we are saying that if 2 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 3 raised to the power x minus y, which is equal to 36, then 2x divided by x squared minus y squared is equal to a half. Thanks for watching. Please do well to like this video and to subscribe to this channel.